Credit card fraud remains a risk when shopping online. It is exactly this risk that cashless payment platform iPay Payment Solutions hopes to avoid. Uh, this payment platform allows for secure one-step EFT payments. It was first launched in South Africa in November 2014 with over 100 merchants who have registered to conduct their EFT payments. Uh, this is obviously done via this platform. But to tell us more about this uh, cashless payment system is Thomas Pays, founder of iPay Payment Solutions. Thomas, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks for having me on your show. Maybe let's first start from the beginning. How did this idea come about? I think like most of the idea, it came by an accident, but more importantly, uh, in order to answer a need. Uh, so we run a digital agency, Just Perfect, and uh, we realized that there was a requirement for e-commerce platform to be developed in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And as part of the e-commerce platform is obviously the online payment. And as we basically started uh, investigating the opportunity, we realized that credit card is, is uh, quite a bit of a, a risk to use on, on the internet. And uh, we thought maybe let's try to challenge that and find a way that would be secure for mm. users to actually buy online. Mm. How is this different from uh, a debit or a credit card? Well, f first of all, if you talk about credit card, you're talking about something that was developed about 30 years ago Kay. that was uh, meant to be uh, purchased uh, through, on, through stores, physical store and point of sales and everything. Um, we basically based our, our innovation, our payment solution through online banking. So we're talking about EFT. Um, so we've got some things that never was meant initially for, for offline payment. Mm. But from day one, we realized that uh, the most safe and secure opportunity was to actually use online banking and online EFT in order to make a payment. Okay, so you would need to get online in order for somebody exactly. to access the, your, your payments. Correct. Right. Can I just ask, I mean, you, you need to get online, Africa, broadband, is that not yes. an issue for you? Well, I think if you look at smartphone penetration nowadays, um, you realize that it's, it's quite developed. And uh, you talk about internet, that's also mm. something that people can use through their mobile. So it is still restricted. But even if you talk about credit card, and you talk about Visa as an example, there's only 6% of South Africans uh, that have a Visa card. So online banking still have opportunity to grow bigger. When you look at smartphones that are opened in Kenya for $29, uh, as a once of purchase, there's, there's I think, a, a huge opportunity for, for our product to grow like that. Mm. How do you make your money? It's very simple. We don't charge a monthly fee in terms of subscription or setup. It's okay. just a small percentage on every single transaction. And we're obviously uh, able to make it even more competitive than, uh, than credit card processing because we don't have to uh, only work with the bank and Visa MasterCard and other third party. We work directly with the bank. So we're able to make it a lot, uh, a lot cheaper for our merchant. Mm. Uh, every time we have entrepreneurs that come here and they've got new businesses, I like to ask them about the trial and error. Um, yes. uh, some of the biggest challenges that they faced when they were building up this uh, process and, and what type, what type of uh, measures are you putting in place to ensure that this is a seamless process when you've got clients trading with their merchants? Well, f first of all, I think, you know, we've been, we've been running businesses for 11 years. Um, so as entrepreneurs, we've, we've fell for the fast, for the past first five years and then we've been able I think to 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 grow from the failures that we've learned but our our, our team and our partner comes also from an online banking background as uh, they've developed uh, the platform of the leading bank in South Africa so there's a lot of readies that we've learned and and failed through back in the day so for us it was more practice was done now we started mastering how do we basically make that at use in order to develop the most innovative mm -hmm. uh, and advanced platforms there is worldwide, globally, in terms of making online payments. Mm -hmm. And the biggest one, because you know, you're telling us about you know, how you've been doing it for 11 years, yes. for, you know, doing business on the African continent and in South Africa now, what has been the biggest challenge for you? Well, uh, look, I'll say the biggest challenge was Africa, ultimately. You know, we're still a third world country, unfortunately, or continent. And if you look at it from um, sometimes the technology uh, availability, it's, it's a few years back from, from other markets, but you learn to use it at your advantage. So that these were some of the biggest challenge, not getting uh, electricity for a few days, <laughs> internet disconnecting and not being reliable, yes. but, but it makes you stronger. Mm. What's next for your company? 
Look, so obviously what's next, we've just launched now SMS payment. Um, we're one of the only company worldwide that can do e-commerce payment, SMS payment. We integrated and just signed a partnership with Sage in order for accounting software client to use Pastel or any of the product to make three-click payment using iPay. Mm -hmm. And we now launching in the next six months our one-click payment um, that will be released in point of sales. One click payment, can you tell us about the rollout? Uh, will this be starting from South Africa? Will it be across uh, the African Correct. So continent? we will launch everything in South Africa first. I mean, it's our mm. nation, it's our country. So yeah. uh, there's some benefit for, for our fellow South African. And then we'll be releasing it in Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, Zambia, and, Zim, and a few other countries before next two years targeting the European market mm. and the US market as, as a holy grail, basically. Thomas, I'll be chatting to you then after you've gone and conquered the world. We'll be able to talk about some of your adventures there and how it's gone. Uh, thank you so much to Thomas Pays. He's the founder of iPay Payment Solutions.